The Viking survival game Valheim is exploding in popularity, and while the game does not officially support modding, that doesn't stop the community from stepping up with many improvements to the game. This video will cover the basics of the file system and get you started with the installation of Bepinex, the .dll mod loader that is needed for most mods to be injected into Valheim. My name's Cal, I'm from Dirty Weasel, let's get started. One of the first things to understand when modding any new game that's come out before it has a mod manager such as Vortex or Mod Organizer 2 or anything like that is the file system. And we're going to start first with where the saves are. And I've opened up a window here that shows where it is located. And you can see it's this PC, Evo, users, my username, app data, local low, Iron Gate, Valheim. And inside this folder, and you can see we go back to Valheim. You can see the characters. This is the characters that I've created. And the worlds. These are the worlds I've created. And these are sometimes what we can use to transfer over different worlds to a dedicated server or something like that. But that's where you'll find things like the admin list, text, ban list, permitted list, player log, blah, blah, blah. It's things like that. That's the basics of where things are going to be as far as your save information. Now, as far as the main files go for Valheim, basically the easiest way for most people to find it nowadays is to right click on Steam where you find Valheim and right click on Valheim and go to properties. And the new Steam UI has local files and you can browse on the local files by hitting the browse button. And that'll take you directly to the file location where all the folders are. And that's this PC games drive. This is where I keep all my games, Steam, Steam apps, common Valheim. This is where you'll be doing most of the work needed for injecting and inserting the different files and DLL mods for the game to have the mods. But we can't just start dropping things in here. There are a couple things that we need to have ahead of time. Well, first off, we need to have some mods. Well, you can go over to the Nexus mods. This is probably my go-to site. I'm not associated with Nexus in any way, but I've always considered it to be a safe source for getting mods for the different games and you can find plenty on nexus mods and you can see basically everything that's here and you can just download one of the ones from this but we'll get into a little bit more about this later the second thing is probably the most important thing and that's called bepinex bepinex is a dll file injector that you download and then put into your main files remember we covered that in this file folder where Valheim lives and your Steam files. This will set up the framework needed for injecting those mods into your game. So when you come to this and you'll see it's valheim.thunderstore.io backslash package backslash Denixon backslash Bepinix pack underscore Valheim backslash. And trust me, I'll put this link in the description so you don't have to find it. But if you ever, you know, can't find the description for whatever reason, just put in Bepinex pack Valheim into your search engine of choice and it will come right up. You'll see a couple of things here. It'll tell you what it does and how to install it. And my suggestion with any type of mod, make sure you read all of the instructions on here. And primarily it's going to get down to the installation and we'll cover this in detail when I do it with you. But basically this is going to tell you where to do it, but make sure you read it all. You'll find two buttons up here, install with mod manager, because we don't have a mod manager available for Valheim this time. Don't worry about this. Go ahead and manually download it. And when you click manually download, you'll go into your desktop and drop it on there. And you can see it's Denixon Bepinex Pack Valheim. And it's right there. And it is a zip file. And I use WinRAR. And of course, WinRAR or Semizip will work just fine inside. You'll find some things. Okay, what do we do with this? Let's go ahead and open up back into our Valheim location in Steam. And you can see we have all this information. What we need from the zip file is when you first open it up, you're going to see the Bepinex pack for Valheim, an icon, which is just a PMG, a manifest, and a readme. If you open up the readme, it's going to basically tell you about how to install it. We're going to show you that right now. Open up Bepinex X pack. And inside, you'll find one, two, three, four four files. Bepinex folder, the unstripped underscore core lib, the doorstop config.ini, 
and the winhttp.dll. All four of these files need to get into your main directory for Valheim. The easiest way is just highlight all those, drag them and drop them in. You'll see all four have done that and they haven't overwritten inside of Valheim. My suggestion is keep this around so that if you decide to uninstall Bepinex for whatever reason, you know which four you're going to be taking out of it. This way you don't forget and screw up your game. The other way is, of course, you have to uninstall the game and, and reinstall it, but you'll also lose all of your save data. So just be careful of that. And to know where the save data is, and that's why I showed you earlier, make sure you back that up if you ever need to reinstall Valheim for whatever reason. But this is where we have it. So we can now close that zip file. Inside of Bepinex and inside this folder, you double click on it and you can see a config, a core, patchers, and plugins. Inside of plugins is where you're going to put all of your DLL files for different mods. And you can see at this time, it's completely blank because we haven't got any mods. And that's where we come back to Nexus. We're just going to grab a mod from the uh, hot list and find something. I think I already downloaded one. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's the, let's go map sync mod. And this basically this mod allows you to sync your map with other players. But what I did was I downloaded it from the Nexus, put it on my desktop, and you can see the WinRAR 7-zip file right here. Open this up, and you'll find Valheim Map Sync Bepinex.dll. Most mods will require that you put it into Bepinex plugins. That's why it's blank right now, because we haven't installed any. You can just take the mod, and it's the DLL file right there, and drag it and drop it in. Simple. It's installed. There's two things to be aware of. There are going to be client side mods and server side mods. Make sure you read the instructions on all of your Nexus mod pages, and they will tell you whether it's a client side or server side mod. Most mods will be client side. Client side basically says you as the player have to install this on your game. There are certain mods, Valheim Plus being one of them, that could be inserted into a server so that everyone has it and you don't need to have it as a client or the player. That's something to keep in mind, but you have to have information on that that is correct, and that's why I always suggest read the mod page completely. But that's all there is to it. You've now installed a plugin. It's now got the Valheim map sync bepinex.dll. You can now just start your game. And see this box right here? This is telling you that the Bepinex is now running and it'll start injecting all the mods into the game. So just keep that in mind. This is what this box is telling you. Yes, we're doing it right now. Once that is done, these windows should close out. And there you go. Simple. Now you can just start your game as you normally would. If you are going in and playing multiplayer, the same thing will happen. You just go in and start a community server or join a community server and the mod will be already injected because you started the game and it automatically injected. And of course, go in, check to see if your mod is working in single player first, make sure everything is working copacetically. If it did not backtrack, go through the system again, make sure you followed every instruction and make sure it works correctly. But it should. I've tested it probably a dozen or so different mods, and each one has worked perfectly using this system. If you ever decide that you need to remove a mod, let's talk about that. In, you're going to need to go back into Bepinex, back into plugins, and you can see the Valheim map sync Bepinex.dll. You can delete it. Simple as that. It's gone. One other thing. Certain mods will have a configuration file. And you can see only right now we have bepinex.config file. You may find others in here. If you're disabling a mod, make sure you go back through and disable the config file. Probably not necessary, but something to keep in mind. And the name should match up just fine. The example I showed you with map sync, it doesn't have a config file, but others do. So just keep that in mind. If you want to delete the entire bepinex folder without affecting anything else, You'll have to go back then, and remember we talked about this, there are four files you need to delete, is the Bepinex, the unstripped 
underscore core lib, the doorstop underscore config dot any, and the win http dot dll file. Those are the four you're going to need to delete if you want to remove Bepinex from your game. And that's simple. It's easy. But that's why I recommend keeping a hold of this so you can, you know, keep track of what you need to get rid of. I hope this helps you out. Enjoy your modding with Valheim. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing off.